Diane and Denmark here. La, la, la. We made it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It uh, goes to the end of another week. It is Friday and uh, we, we've had another crazy busy week. It, it is the uh, officially the, the school holidays, but we have a lot going on right now. But anyway, uh, my routines, carrying on with my routines as usual, and it's all good. I'm just putting one foot in front of the other. Anyway, let me put my pom-poms down. Uh, two things today, because I know we've all got places to go, uh, people to see, um, things to knock off our, our to-do lists. Uh, two things, it is Friday, which in, uh, you know, as I call it, Flying Lady Land, is um, fill up your car with petrol and give it a quick clean out. I, I don't do that generally on a Friday because I, I do it if I'm actually using the car. Uh, here in Denmark, we use our bikes, you know, to get to work, school, uh, doing errands. So it's not something I, I do every Friday. We, we don't need uh, so much petrol. So, but if, if you're following the Fly Lady system, think about that. Uh, it's also a date night, if you do date night with your significant other. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that uh, my husband and I, we prefer to go out to do other stuff, uh, like during the week, instead of, uh, you know, Fridays for us. We have a kind of hygge ritual at home. We all like to be together after a, a long week. And um, you'll know that I have this, a uh, basket that I fill up with the family's favourite snacks. I'm, I'm going to be doing that today as soon as I finish this, this video. And remember, if you, if you don't want to fill up your basket with uh, snacks, you could do healthy snacks, uh, fill it up with uh, reading material or a wee pamper for yourself. Uh, and, and also, before I get into anything else, I, I just wanted to give you an update because I, I mentioned, when was it on Wednesday, that I had uh, just started this book. And I finished it in two days. It's now, I told you it's uh, by Laura Purcell. Now in, in British English, it's called The Corset. And I believe in the States, they changed the name of it and it's called The Poisoned Thread. It's a Gothic uh, tale, uh, a, a crime thing. And it's all about this um, seamstress. And, and really it was great, I mean, four out of five stars. So thanks to my friend Sue, who has the book uh, the book uh, blog, uh, and, and I'll put another link to it down below. She, she's on Facebook and she's also got a book blog. This was one that she mentioned and some of the other things that she's mentioned on the book blog I've read and enjoyed. So anyway, um, four out of five stars and, and I really loved it. And now uh, Vibeka is going to see if she can get it in Danish because uh, I think she will enjoy that. And then for my next read, uh, my, my friend Melanie, um, recommended this one and she had got it from you know all our books come from the um, from the local Danish library she had read this one really enjoyed it as a kind of light uh, you know fun uh, you no know, summer read so I found it at our local library so I'm gonna be getting up with that and uh, when I was getting this at the library I also picked up another one of the simple things there. so make sure that you keep on with your self-care you know it's, it's if you if you don't like the word pamper time you know just think of it as self-care self-preservation i mean really we've got to take a wee bit of time for ourselves every day but whether it's reading or doing something else that you like and uh, i'm going to be um doing my nails today so that that'd be a pamper for me i tried out this nail varnish from the clothes swap and I, I find this a bit too kind of dusky pink for me. So I actually handed it on to Vivica this morning, who's uh, looking forward to trying it. It's more of a type two pink than a type one. Anyway, um, so Fly Lady Friday, car, petrol, um, date night, or do something nice for yourself or you know with the family and the kids. Just put a basket there. Uh, and also uh, Friday is, that thing of cleaning out your handbag, your purse, if you've got a diaper bag, you know, a baby changing bag. I've got my swimming bag. I've just taken out my towel because I was down for a skinny dip with uh, with Vivek and Helene this morning. I'm getting my towel in the wash and I'll put in a, a fresh towel so I'm ready to go next time uh, I want to go down and have a swim. And what else was gonna say about that? Oh yeah, and, and also I've got quite a, a, a few receipts in, in my bag because um, Vibeke and Helene and I, we took a little day trip to Lund in Sweden uh, on Wednesday. Now, Vibeke and Helena, you, you know, we, we meet each other, um, you know, two or three times a week. Not, not all of us together, but we, we try and meet two or three times a week when we're having our skinny dip. And all of us are now going off on summer holidays and, and we're, we're going off at different times. 
So we, we had a little trip, the three of us together, just for the day in Sweden. Um, and, and I'll put up a wee video about it because we found this really fantastic shop, which was tea and all different stuff for the house and a really, a, a really, really hoogly shop. So I'll, I'll put, I'll make a wee video about that. Um, but that, that was like, this morning was the last time that we were together, the three of us, before, you know, the summer holidays and, you know, Vibika's going off with her family and then Helena's going off with hers and I'm going off with my family. So, so we're, we're kind of like ships uh, passing in the night. So today was the last day we're all three of us together. And on Wednesday, we had a wee trip to Sweden. So, so it's, it's been a really uh, hygge, hygge week. Um, but I've got quite a few receipts uh, of things from Sweden from Wednesday. So I'm going to dive into my handbag today and look at those. And what I do is when, when I take my handbag, I just take everything out of it. And, you know, like uh, there's always a snotty hanky in there, um, you know, and some pens. And I end up with about 10 lipsticks. And I just, you know, take everything out, dump, dump it on the, on the kitchen table here. Any receipts, they go into a folder, which I check when I'm doing my plan and play day, you know, my kind of bank day on a Tuesday. And the rest of the stuff gets put away. So uh, I encourage you to do that because, you know, we always think, oh, well, I'll do it some other time. Do it now. So you know where your stuff is, and especially things like receipts. It's like, oh, gosh, where, where, where did I put it? Which handbag was I using? So just, just uh, set your timer for a few minutes and do that and get the kids to do the same. If they've got rucksacks, if they've been out, um, I don't know, if you've been out at a water park and you came home and you, you've got all those bags and there's sun cream in there and hats and half eaten sandwiches. You know, just, just take a few minutes to get everything back on an even keel. Now, that was um, Fly Lady Friday. And uh, I also wanted to tell you that, you know, I, I, I can see a lot of you are in the same position as us. You know, we're coming up for the holidays, vacation, and you know, you're kind of looking forward to going off on holiday, but then <laughs> there's always that kind of overwhelm with that. <gasps> Oh no, uh, need to get the house ready to go and uh, what do I have to do? So I just wanted to give you a few wee tips about that. So for, for, it's basically going to be three things. They're going to be, you know, the time before you leave on holiday, getting ready to go. What does that entail? Do you just get a, a, a piece of paper and a pencil and get a few things down on your list. Just do a brain dump. And I'll, and I'll give you some places you can go to get some, some more information once I've been through this. First of all, you've got to think about everything you need to do before you leave to go on vacation. Whether that is getting in touch with neighbours, do they need to uh, come and empty your post box? Do you need somebody to come in and feed the cat? Um, do you need somebody to empty your, your refuse bins? You know, things like that. Uh, what, what about, um, you know, uh, you know maybe, maybe you've got people coming to house sit or pet sit. Let, let's make these arrangements, you know, a few weeks in advance. Don't, don't leave it to the last moment and then find out nobody can come and look after uh, Bella, your, your cat. And also getting the house ready. Don't, don't go overboard with cleaning. Just, just stick to your normal routines. You, you, you don't want to leave the house looking like, um, you know, whirlwind hit it. And then you come back in the door and think, <gasps> you know, you don't want to come back home. Just keep going with your routines and make sure you put things away before you leave. You know, you don't want to have, uh, not, not be able to get into your own bed because you've, you've thrown a whole lot of uh, things on the bed, you know, doing your packing last minute. So think about things that you can do before you go on vacation. And also things like uh, as soon as you book those tickets, uh, as soon as you book uh, your, your flight tickets, as soon as you decide that you're going to uh, visit somewhere, get those plans downloaded to your telephone, print out the tickets if you need to, get all that stuff done as soon as you can. As soon as you make the booking, get, get it, you know, put into a special folder. Don't, don't wait to the last minute to do these things because you know what it's like, you, you, you know, there's 24 hours to go and, you know, where, where are the passports, where's the visa? Just do it in good time. Just a, a wee bit of planning in advance, as you know, saves so much stress at the last minute. So anything that you can do, you know, before we actually get to the packing of things, try and try and get that done now. And, you know, just set a few minutes aside every day for dealing with it, whether it's, uh, you know, looking online to find the best deal for the hotels, whatever. Just, just spend a few minutes on that. 
And then there's going to be the actual packing part. Now, of course, there's tons of information out there. Uh, on the Fly Lady website, flylady.net, um, there's a whole section about going on vacation and, and again, things like, you know, making sure that you, you maybe uh, look in your fridge a few days before you go, eat, eat what's there, so you're not leaving kind of weird stuff behind, uh, you know, for three or four weeks. You, you can see that on the Fly Lady website and also, um, you know, because I always get questions about what to pack. And me personally, I, I see going on vacation as a chance to have a wee declutter. Now, I've, I've told you this before, when we pack to go on a holiday, if we're going on something like a beach holiday, I take our, our really old beach towels because I reckon that at the end of the holiday, if, you know, say we're, we're like in uh, Greece or in the south of France, at the end of the holiday, we can just dump those towels. It's ones that we're, we're going to be, um, you know, getting rid of anyway. So I, I don't take like brand new things on holiday. I take, take the old stuff, like old underwear, old pajamas, especially for the kids. You know, if you're at the stage where you've got wee kids that are really growing in spurts, uh, you know, take, take uh, the, the pajamas that you're going to be getting rid of soon anyway. And then that way you've got a bit more space when you come back in your suitcase or in your bags. You know, see as a way to kind of do, do an extra declutter. And also when you're on your holiday, don't be coming back with those kind of weird souvenirs uh, of kind of shells stuck together with the name of the place that you're, you're going to be throwing out in a couple of months time. Uh, you know me, I always like to get, um, and, you know, I, I like to have a wee memory from our holidays, but for, for me personally, I, I like to make a, a, a clutter-free souvenir. And you know me, if, if you've seen me on Instagram, you know that I have quite a few tea towels that have come from different trips. This one was uh, from Nice on, on the trip that I did with Vibic and Helena, my besties, uh, last year. Was it last year? Two years ago we did it? Yeah. Um, so I like to pick up something like that, you know, something that I can use. And then, you know, once it gets stained and then, you know, I can end up using it for, for a cleaning cloth. After that, it goes. I, I'm not looking at some kind of, you know, weird uh, hat that, you know, uh, sombrero hat that you've bought that you're, you're never going to use again. So just kind of be sen sensible about these things. Uh, but also when you're packing, if you, there's a possibility to use a, a washing machine for you there, you know, often we're going to, um, we're going to Japan and many of the places that, uh, of, of the hotels in Tokyo, you actually have a, a, a tiny washing machine in your bathroom. I love that kind of thing. Then you can kind of pack half what you would be packing and just, you know, give your t-shirts a wash and underwear a wash and, and you know, extend uh, the use of your clothes. And if you're if you're not sure what to pack, there's um, a, a great there's some great videos on, on uh, you know dressing your truth if you're a lifestyle member of what to pack for each type, um, and and it's also funny with it say like I'm a type one in dressing your truth system, and as a type one we always like to have all the all the options, and I can see that myself when I'm packing. I really like to be able to uh, make my clothes work, you know that a top can work in all different ways and just by adding some accessories, it makes it look completely different. So I always travel with actually quite a lot of earrings and necklaces because I can change things up a bit. So anyway, so see what works for you. And then you also have to remember coming back from holiday because, you know, we all love being on vacation and then you come home and, and you know what the tendency is, you just kind of dump those suitcases or this, is, this would be like me in the old days. And I think, oh, well, you know, I have to get back into real life. And that's the suitcases can just wait for a few more days. And what happens, you know, three weeks later, you're kind of stepping over the suitcase and the kids are looking for their stuff and you don't really feel like you're kind of settled again. Do yourself a favor. When you get back, open that suitcase and deal with the stuff. Hopefully, if you've if you've got any kind of dirty washing, you will have already put it into a, you know some kind of plastic bag in your suitcase, so you can just lift out the dirty washing and it goes straight to um, the washing machine, and that the other stuff which are maybe uh, I don't know maybe you've got travel guides, you've got uh, swim goggles for the kids, all those other things you set your timer and say okay we're just going to put all these things away, okay so so don't don't have that kind of holiday. You, you know, going into the next season because you've still got stuff in the suitcase. 
you, you think it's going to take a long time and you don't want to do it, but just by leaving it there, it festers. You know, not just the, the dirty washing, but that, oh, you don't want to deal with it and it gets bigger and bigger in your mind. So just deal with it, you know, just, just a, wee, a, a few minutes here and there, putting stuff away so you can really say, oh, you know, I enjoyed that holiday. You don't have that kind of holiday blues afterwards. Uh, oh, and the other thing I was going to say about coming back after your holidays, you've really got to keep it simple and, and you know, just keep going with your routines, uh, do your load of laundry, you know, one load a day if you can do that. Uh, you may also want to, um, maybe you've got very nice neighbours who will come in and leave you some uh, milk and bread for when you come home. Uh, we have really great delivery services um, in, in Copenhagen. I don't normally get my groceries delivered these days. I sometimes do up to Christmas when things are crazy busy or if it's bad weather. Uh, but often, just before we fly home, I'll put in a grocery order. I can be doing it sitting at the, uh, the airport on the Wi-Fi. And then, you know, the, the, uh, often the night that we come back or the next morning, there will be a, a grocery order on its way and then we've got, you know, fresh milk and bread and all those things. So just keep it simple. Uh, also, when you come back from holiday, make sure, uh, if you don't want to do a thing with the grocery delivery, make sure that you have a few staples on hand. You know, maybe you've got some pasta, a jar of uh, tomato sauce, a bag of uh, meatballs or, or vegan uh, meatballs in the freezer. So you can just knock together a, a really simple meal for, you know, so you're not having to go out to the shops uh, as soon as you get back uh, from, from your vacation. Okay, anything else? Oh yeah, um, I, I won't go too much more into here because I've been talking for 15 minutes and you know, please, with anything that you do, you know, my videos as well, do not sit and binge watch my videos. The aim of my videos is to hopefully motivate you and get you off uh, your bohookie and uh, get you moving. Um, I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. I've got a few things to do uh, this morning. As I said, we're, we're, we're still having uh, crazy busy weeks. Uh, my, my daughter's off to Japan uh, next week. Um, and just please keep, keep going with the pamper time. Uh, I'm hoping next week to go and see the new Spider-Man film. My daughter saw it last night when she was out with some friends. And I asked her what it was like, and I said, no spoilers, but what, what did she like it? And she said, mum, you, you would like it. <laughs> so she said it was much better than Avengers Endgame. We were so disappointed that. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to seeing that next week. Uh, and I'm also, uh, I've been in touch with a couple of uh, friends. I'm, I'm going to meet up with them next week because my daughter will be away and uh, I'll have a bit more time in the evenings. So I'm going to get out and enjoy the summer while it lasts. Don't, don't let things get away from you. It's here, it's now, you know, and, and enjoy it. Uh, and the weather here in Denmark, you know, two weeks ago, I was sitting here saying, you know, it's like 30 degrees Celsius. What was that like uh, up, up in the 80s? The last week we have had torrential rain. This morning was good. I was down for my skinny dip with Vivek and Helena and um, we, we swam really far out. During the summer, normally we can swim quite far out. It, it's open water swimming. We can swim really far out. The only problem um, at this time of year for us is stinging jellyfish. We had onshore winds, was it Monday and Tuesday, which uh, were bringing the jellyfish in. Today was fine, we, did, we didn't see any. And I remember we were swimming naked. It's winter being, it's a Danish thing. Um, and we're swimming quite far out from the, the shore. So anyway, go us, we, we had a really good swim this morning. And that's why I'm not wearing uh, the earrings that I got from Helena for my birthday. I didn't want to, when I'm out swimming, open swimming like that, uh, I, I just wear my, um, my junk jewelry ones. So anyway, on that note, I'm gonna get um, on with some things for Friday, and get some work done. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on the Instagram the next few days. I'm not sure when I will be checking in with you from now on. It, it's also holiday time for us uh, and, and I'll be spending time with my family. So I will pop up now and then with a video uh, and I'll, I'll put together that wee video from our, our trip to Lund in Sweden because it was a really uh, hygge, a really hygge trip. So anyway, on that note, wish you a fantastic summer until we see each other again. Uh, get get some uh, get some pampering done. Enjoy the summer, and I shall see you on the other side. So live long and prosper. May the Danish who could be with you and good weather today. Uh, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.